So we're going to talk about this this video that we did just briefly mentioned uh, at at the top here, which is the the woke CIA commercial. Uh, I, I don't know how many of you guys have have seen it. Uh, it, it seems like Holly has seen it. Uh, I, I I got to to watch it, and uh, and it it is uh, it is terrible. So let's let's start by watching this fucking commercial it's like a quick two minute video I'll, if, if if something uh if something moves me i will uh i will pause the video and and you guys know the drill if you guys leave comments um in the in the live chats i will uh read them at the end of each segment so i don't get lost and you know miss the point of what i'm talking about so okay so here's here's the video uh from twitter everybody everybody embrace embrace for the cringe here it comes when I was 17, I quoted Zora Neale Hurston's How It Feels to Be Colored Me in my college application essay. The line that spoke to me stated simply, I am not tragically colored. There is no sorrow damned up in my soul nor lurking behind my eyes. I do not mind at all. At 17, I had no idea what life would bring, but Zora's sentiment articulated so beautifully how I felt as a daughter of immigrants then and now. Nothing about me was or is tragic. I am perfectly made. I can wax eloquent on complex legal issues in English while also belting Guayaquil de mis amores in Spanish. I can change a diaper with one hand and console a crying toddler with the other. I am a woman of color. I am a mom. I am a cisgender millennial who's been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. I am intersectional, but my existence is not a box checking exercise. I am a walking declaration. A woman whose inflection does not rise at the end of her sentences, suggesting that a question has been asked. I did not sneak into CIA. My employment was not and is not the result of a fluke. Wait, I, I think I missed this the first time I watched this video, but she said I did not sneak into the CIA, which is kind of hilarious because that's what the CIA does. They just sneak into places, you know, start coups, put up puppet fucking leaders <laughs> well we got we got like a minute left of this but that i did not sneak into the cia like what do you do okay so you're not the kgb i guess which is an outdated reference at this point <laughs> I, I, I i can't believe i missed that the first time i watched this or slipped through the cracks I earned my way in and I earned my way up the ranks of this organization. I am educated, qualified, and competent. And sometimes I struggle. I struggle feeling like I could do more, be more. Wait, so she sometimes struggles, but she is perfect. I don't, I guess, I guess you're perfect in your struggles or w whatever fucking turn of phrase they want to use in this, in this video. It's very, it's very strange. To my two sons and I struggle leaving the office when I feel there's so much more to do. I used to struggle with imposter syndrome, but at 36, there's so much more to do. There's so many other countries we can, so many other democracies we can topple and lie about. There's so many countries, you guys. It's so hard to leave work when you're like, ah, we still haven't gotten Venezuela. Fuck. How have we not gotten Venezuela yet? Shit. I get it. I got to go home and change a diaper with one hand and then console a toddler who's like, stop fucking with Venezuela. And, and I'm like, shut the fuck up, toddler. How can I go home when Venezuela is still a democracy? How a socialist democracy of all things. <laughs> I refuse it's to so internalize crazy. misguided patriarchal ideas of what a woman can or should be. I am tired of feeling like I'm supposed to apologize for the space I occupy rather than intoxicate people with my effort, my brilliance. I am proud of me. Full stop. Intoxicating people with your efforts. <laughs> that that could that couldn't be a reference to uh to to all the drugs they force people to take in um oh man, I'm gonna need you guys' help on it because it was at the tip of my tongue and now it's gone. Uh but they they made people like take LSD, like they experimented on people with drugs, um, and it's been it's like a, decla a declassified fucking 
operation uh and and it's a famous one and i can't remember it but which if i did remember it this would have been a way better joke <laughs> but it's just like yeah you're intoxicating people because because that's what they do they, the cia uh, tests drugs on on people and they've declassified that information they legitimately intoxicate people and in order to tolerate the CIA, you you have to be intox like ma like dangerously intoxicated. So Stop. my parents left everything they knew and loved to expose me to opportunities they never had. Because of them, I stand here today a proud first generation Latino. <laughs> I had to overthrow my own family. That was my first test to the CIA. <laughs> I am now the head of my family from the CIA. That's what I am. MK Ultra, thank you, Cynical Girl. I just saw that comment. MK Ultra, yeah. Tina, an officer at CIA. I am unapologetically me. I want you to be unapologetically you, whoever you are. Know your worth. Command your space. <laughs> this is so, so cringe. She's wearing a fucking a t like a t-shirt blazer combo over here with the word miha and they put a you know a fist inside the the the, the lady symbol oh man it's it's just so bad like it's fucking terrible oh my god so this this signals to virtually every demographic i think uh that you could you could um you could find so we got women pocs cisgender right they they throw the term cisgender in there uh as a as a as a way of saying hey we recognize uh all of the different genders that are out there uh, uh talks about mental health right she's which i felt like it was i think that's the most blatant one of uh of all of them is throwing that mental health diagnosis in there for for her it was you know like i have generalized anxiety disorder and it's like yeah me too lady like but your organization fucking makes the the plant that can help with that illegal like <laughs> and and you guys traffic that plant and various other drugs into the country like you guys have been caught doing that several times that one was the one where I was like, I, I, I kind of feel like you ham fisted it just to be like, see, look, CIA analysts and agents can also have mental health issues. Like, yeah, no shit, because human beings are natural instinct isn't to overthrow democracies or fucking kill people or assassinate presidents and shit like that. Like, they don't do that kind of stuff on a regular. That's not like what human beings are programmed to do right like if you would have been like i have ptsd that would have been a little bit more believable like do you have anxiety because deep down inside you know that everything about your job is wrong like you're you're working for the most evil organization on the planet asterisk depending on what country you're in and what intelligence agency you're told to like Like, it's just so fucking terrible. And then they throw the feminist thing in there. And all of this stuff, all they're doing is they, they co-opted all of these identities uh, for the sake of torture, for the sake of coups, for the sake of uh, training the enemy, uh, for the sake of selling weapons to both sides to profit off of it, you know, for the sake of criminalizing journalists, assassinations, like... That's all this is. That's all this fucking ad does. <laughs> and it's so gross. But the, here's the other thing, right? I don't even know if you can really claim that this um, is accurate, right? Like, it's difficult for you to, for, for anybody to justify and say, like, oh, yeah, this is a very trustworthy ad this 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 inspires confidence in me and the CIA because, and I will pull up the clip here. Uh, da, 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 where did it go? Uh, I hope I can find the clip. Um, but there's a clip of fucking Mike Pompeo basically saying, uh, that, you know, the, the CIA is about lying 
cheating and stealing. Like that's specifically what they do. Uh, and he's like proud of that. So I had it saved and I can't fucking find it now. I should have done this. You would you would have thought Chris would have done this before, but nay. Nay, he did not. Uh, oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, folks. Uh, cool. So here's the clip of I Mike Pompeo. What's the first, what's the cadet motto at West Point? You will not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. Mm. I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's it like, we, we, had, we had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it reminds you of the, uh, uh, the glory of the American experiment. Yes, the glory of the American experiment. The world's fucking most dangerous Care Bear. <laughs> he looks like a fucking sadistic Care Bear. Uh, why would you fucking trust the CIA when the director of the CIA, well, technically the former director of the CIA, was like, yeah, we have training courses on teaching people how to lie, cheat, and steal. Why the fuck would you try? Like, what? The, this whole commercial is essentially like embodies all three of those those credos for them i bet you this is a lie right i bet you that lady's a fucking actress and she's not even part of the cia right they're they're definitely cheating people like they're cheating people's identities and and they're co-opting or stealing these identities to justify fucking murder and assassinations and coups and all of the awful horrific shit that the cia does like if you belong to any of these identities and you or or even if you just identify as a human and you like willingly work for the CIA uh then I think you're an uncle tom for humanity because the CIA goes against humanity like they just go they're they're an intelligence agency for capitalism for brutality like that's what they are there's nobody that should be like boy you know what i want to do is grow up to be a fucking cia agent if you have you're 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 probably you know you're too propagandized and you should read a fucking history book that isn't controlled by the cia <laughs> so the whole thing of the zora neil hurston quote that they start um uh, this whole ad with is is supposed to you know talk about empowerment and things like that but that's not what the, intel the intelligence community does the opposite of empowerment like cia fbi nsa go after people that legitimately try to empower the working class kennedy tried to do that what happened with kennedy right fred hampton mlk malcolm x today's malcolm x's birthday they all got assassinated. They fucking the United States, when Mike Pompeo was Secretary of State, assassinated a high ranking general, high ranking Iranian general on a fucking peace mission. These people are psychopaths. Nobody should legitimately fucking want to work for these assholes. And then there's the, the notion that it's specifically a, a Latina woman that is uh that is being chosen for this um and i think that is done on purpose to signal to be like huh see fucking black and brown people they're just as bad as white people am i right it's fine don't worry about it it's okay if black and brown people do it too we're making it cool now we're diversifying brutality like that's all this is like What a what a weird way to co-op people. And 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 it's again, it's a woman in particular because um well they tried with Gina Haspel. You know, they tried the woke move with Gina Haspel of like, look, it's a lady that's running the CIA. What a oh boy, what a crazy thing, huh? Look how crazy and diverse we are. But then it's like she called herself bloody Gina, and everybody's like, ooh. Mm, don't know if i want this lady running things and and that kind of proved the point of like yeah see it doesn't like this identity politics shit like doesn't matter 
Because if you're going to be a fucking brutal killer, it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is or your gender is or your sexual orientation. Like, that, none of that shit matters. If you're going by bloody Gina or bloody Pompeo, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the gender of that person. And this, I mean, this is the sort of stuff that, like, turns minorities and POCs into monoliths, right? Because the way that they're framing this is, well, if they're POC or if they're from a minority community, they're probably far more upstanding, uh, you know, they're they're upstanding citizens with a, with a you know, a, a gooey moral center that can't be shaken. And, uh, and, if, and if these guys are in the CIA, then the CIA has got to be cool. By the way, we have a Democratic president who is, has the most diverse cabinet of all time. So yay, diversity in war criminals. Like, and, and if you're a POC and a minority, then you vote Democrat. You can trust the Democrats. And if there's a POC in our commercial, you can trust the CIA because we're going right along with the Democratic Party, even though intelligence communities, they don't actually fucking do that. They, they work outside of all three branches of, uh, of the government. So all like all this is just co-opting, just co-opting fucking minorities and like every person of color, every person that that belongs to one of these identities should be offended at what happened. And we shouldn't be trusting <laughs> like I just think I just thought it was so funny that people were like, oh, we should trust the FBI. <laughs> During the Trump administration, we're like, the FBI is going to come save us, save us, like. Uh, all right, uh, let's look at your comments. Uh, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go a little, little, little higher. There's a lot of cringe. There's a lot of you guys cringing, triple cringe, but <laughs> plunging salad forks into your ears. Don't you? That's. Uh, that's, that's unnecessary. Don't, you're going to ruin the salad forks with blood. That's not, that's not needed. <laughs> Miguel says, shut the fuck up, toddler. Uh, MK Ultra, uh, that's, that's the, that's the thing we were talking about. Uh, yeah, PTSD. I feel like that's what a lot of CIA agents have. Uh, as Holly pointed out, is is they probably have PTSD from all the shit that they've done. Uh, yeah, we're 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 checking things off. Female check, POC check, cisgender check, working parent check, PTSD check, bitchiness. Check. It is there is a little bit of condescension in her tone, isn't there? There's a little bit of condescension of like, well, I'm better than you because I belong to minority communities, like. <laughs> Protecting our freedom. That's the line, right? That's the reminder of the great American experiment, as Pompeo says, uh, which, which, you know, the experiments failed. I think we failed the experiment and we should probably try a different one. <laughs> uh, Hollywood, Kasem Soleimani, that's who, that's who Pompeo uh, ordered the, uh, the hit on. Because <laughs> they definitely fucking assassinated that guy all oh, this capitalism installing agency ha uh, <laughs> that's that's yeah exactly mark viola very funny comedian mark viola all minorities are not a monolith except for the whole not a monolith thing they're monolithic when it comes to that damn straight damn straight don't 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 question don't question how much of a monolith we can be when we're telling you that we're not a monolith. <laughs> what a fucking ridiculous commercial. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. 
You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gostola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. Uh, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.